OptiSpice is the first circuit design software for analysis of integrated circuits including interactions of optical and electronic components. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate the use of micro-opto-electromechanical devices based on multilayer filters which can be used for dynamic filtering of optical channels in a wavelength division multiplex system. Here is our simulation layout which consists of three parts, the transmitter, filters, and the receiver. This system works on two optical channels generated by DFB lasers. Each laser output is directly modulated using a bipolar junction transistor driven by a bit generator. The two optical channels are multiplexed using a 3dB coupler. The filtering section consists of a splitter and two multilayer filters, and the receiver consists of two photodetectors and two electrical amplifiers. First, let's look at a general setup for the simulation. Here we are performing a transient simulation with a time window of 40 nanoseconds. Using the parameters tab, we can define the filter configuration and the wavelengths of the two DFB lasers. In this example, channel 1 has optical carrier at 193.41 terahertz, and channel 2 is at 192.75 terahertz. Now let's look into the transmitter. By double clicking on the bit generator, we can set the parameters. Here the output sequence is 16 bits. Let's take a closer look at the lasers. Here are the general parameters of the lasers. The wavelength is set through the global parameters. Next is the filter. The multilayer filters are controlled using two voltage sources shown in the purple module. Here we can see the setup parameters for the multilayer filter. In this example, we are connecting the voltage source only to the sixth layer. This voltage source, V-disc, controls filter 1 and this voltage source, VL, controls filter 2. We have set these two voltage sources to perform filtering on the desired wavelengths defined in the global parameters. The timing is set by the time voltage pairs entered in the parameters of the voltage controller. The receiver consists of two photo detectors and two electrical amplifiers to amplify the output. In order to monitor the signals, we can add probes to the desired ports. Probes can be found in the probe library. We have used probes to monitor the electrical and optical signals at different ports. Now let's run the simulation by clicking on the analysis menu and then run. Once the simulation is finished, press enter to view the result in OptiSystem. You can use the visualizer library to add optical or electrical visualizers to monitor the signals on the probes. First we'll take a look at the output of bit generator 1 and 2. Now let's look at the multiplex signal of the two DFB lasers in frequency domain, as well as the time domain. Here are two voltages applied to the multilayer filters. The voltages are set to transmit channel 1 for the first 20 nanoseconds and channel 2 for the next 20 nanoseconds. As you can see, this is the time domain signal of channel 1 and 2 multiplexed together. And this is the output of filter 1 and filter 2. Since we are doing time domain filtering, in filter 1, for the first 20 nanoseconds, the output is from channel 1, and vice versa for filter 2. Finally, we'll look at the output of Vout1 and Vout2 after the photo detector and after amplification. In summary, OptiSpice is a powerful software tool for design and simulation of optoelectronic circuits and analysis of signal integrity.